Last thing that we need is more rain on top of what we've already seen over the last several months. I actually joined uh, East Providence Highway Department for a brief time today and we looked at some of the drains and they actually were cleaning some of them today as well. Here's what they had to say about how to prepare. I've had crews out all day today cleaning catch basins, clearing the leaves off the top of the basin just so water. Water is going to be an issue with three inches of rain coming. Chris DiCecco, superintendent of the highway department in East Providence, says crews have been out all week as well working to clear drains, especially in the more common hard hit areas. Although DiCecco adds there is a way residents can help. We ask the residents also if you can clean the basins in front of your house, it will help us out tremendously. Those same crews in East Providence are ready to respond if flooding occurs. We'll come in and we'll assess it and do our best to get rid of the water as quick as we can. Local towns and cities aren't the only ones preparing. RIDOT says they also have crews checking and cleaning storm drains as needed. In a statement to 12 News, RIDOT says, quote, We will have crews on standby through the weekend and expect to call crews in Saturday night so we can quickly address any localized flooding from the storm. We encourage drivers to reduce their speed, avoid distress, Distraction and never drive while impaired and not to drive through any flooded streets. Now, if there's any good news that comes with the rain, it's that it's falling on a weekend, so traffic may not be impacted nearly as much. But still, if you see a flooded roadway, turn around and don't drown. For now, live in the weather yard, Stephen Matragrado, 12 News.